Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Um, so we're gonna do another project pan, <laughs> kind of. <It's> <laughs> so uh, if you're interested, just keep on watching. <laughs> um, we're gonna start project half pan, which was started by Rosie Beauty Love on Instagram, um, which is a genius concept. Basically, instead of the goal being to pan the whole pan entire palette. every eyeshadow, the the goal is to hit pan in every shade in every palette. shade in the palette. So, although I don't know if this is actually going to like happen, I think it'll be a really good way for us to, to add some fun into our already custom palettes. Both for our Pan Those Eyeshadows have custom palettes. For our Pan That Palette. Pan That Palette have these custom palettes. So we, we decided to incorporate a Project Half Pan. Um, I was thinking of doing maybe like a monthly makeup bag, but I think this makes more sense to do it this way. For us. So, um, we both chose a palette and instead of it being like, I don't use Vicks Custom Palette. I don't have any need for it. But this way we can kind of both use these palettes and both make progress in them, you know? So it'll be really fun. So I chose the Odin's Eye Alba 2 eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. Um, I'm not going to include the two pressed glitters within the project pan, but I will. I can probably hit pan on I those. will make an attempt to use them. But I, I just, used the pink one the other day, it was gorgeous. I'll, I'll make an attempt to use them, but I cannot guarantee that I will hit pan on them. <laughs> um, but this is just, I think it'll be perfect for summer. It's got all of the mattes that I could use to blend out a deeper matte. So that makes it really easy for me to like utilize, the utilize yeah, the pastels in here. Um, and I just, I really love the greens and the blues in here. You guys know I'm a green blue whore. Um, and I, I just think that this palette is stunning. Um, I did want to mention, cause I had never heard this before. Um, evidently Odin's Eye has some nasty customer service. So <laughs> bear that in mind if you buy anything from them, um, off for a recommendation. Yeah. Was it more? It was more shadows, please. More shadows, please on Instagram or more shadow, please. Maybe on Instagram. They said, um, that they, they got the newest Odin's Eye palette that we did a review on. So the like Norm's that. collection. Um, and they got the big palette from that collection and the swatches did not look anything like ours did. The way they performed did not look anything like ours did. Like it was all like very, very sheer. Yeah. Like no pan, pan everything. Yeah. Like it seemed like. And they had reached out and they're like, hey, um, this isn't good. Can I get, I think that this was, you know, a, an error during production. Can I just get like a, a refund or can I get a new palette sent out, please? And Odin's Eye does not do refunds. I assume because they're a smaller brand, you just have to, you have to read the return policy. But um, I would think that it's not a big deal for them to be like, oh, my apologies. Here's a new palette. Instead, they said like, sorry, you suck at makeup, basically. <laughs> So bear that in mind, apparently there's a couple people um, that have also experienced this that I personally have never, um, but I haven't had any we have it to reach out we to have customer ordered service. From them. Yeah, um, so. We've just been sent stuff. So I did want to mention that because I had never heard that before and I just want to make sure that if we are recommending something, you guys are aware of what could happen if you get something that you don't like. Um, I, I don't want anybody to buy an Owns Eye palette off for a recommendation and then them not Be like it and can't to you. Yeah. yeah. So just, I wanted to mention that, but I do love their shadows. I do really like the, the brand as a whole. Um, just not that customer service aspect. I decided that the Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist Club Nebula palette would be a really good one to do this half pan thing because it has so many rich jewel tones, mm -hmm. which are tones that I tend to gravitate towards. Um, and the shimmers are really, really sparkly, really intense. There's not many shades in here that'll be difficult for me to hit pan mm -hmm. on, I don't think. I'll probably have the most issues with like the peach the and then the two like neutral shades. Uh, Cause that's, those just aren't colors that I gravitate towards mm -hmm. all the time. Um, but other than that, I don't foresee any problems. And the mattes are fairly powdery and I tend to build up my mattes quite a bit. So uh, yeah, I don't foresee any issues with this, but I'm very excited to make this look really a beautiful. Hold them up next to each other. I think that these will look really, really, well really, really well together. Yeah. Yeah, it'll work for us as, as twins. Um, but I am really excited to do this. And if we really like it, we could do it with multiple palettes in our collection as time goes on, which could get us a lot of great use out of our eyeshadow palettes. Mm -hmm. So I'm really hoping this one goes well. Obviously we'll update you and I'm not going to force myself. If, if for whatever reason we're like, I don't know, three months into this project and we're like, I don't want to use these anymore. Like I'm not happy using them. Like I am bored. I want something else. I'm, I'm, I need to stop making it like our audience is depending on me panning the palette. No, they're not. 
If you give up, nobody's gonna be mad at you. It's okay, like we did with our Be Perfect project pan. We, we panned out almost the entire palette and then we had a couple like slivers of shades left and we're like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to finish these. We've been doing this for like a year. So um, that's just a thing I want to mention. Um, but I'm, I am really excited about this. I think it'll be really, really fun. Yeah, it'll be fun too. Like if this goes well, maybe I'll even try like one of our Pat McGrath quads, see if mm -hmm. I can hit pan on anything in those. I've never hit pan on a Pat McGrath eyeshadow or even like my Charlotte Tilbury quads or like our mini palettes. But your, I mean, if you did like Midnight Sun, you're you're close to hitting pan on a couple of those mattes. Yeah. yeah. There's a pretty good dip going. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm really, really excited for this project though. I think it's gonna be a inspiring. Fun yeah. I think it's I think it's gonna push us to do more makeup or more fun makeup. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts. <laughs> I'm excited and um, it seems like just like I don't think that these have like a ton of shadow in them. You know, like, yeah. I don't think they're not like in the top of a big pan. Big pan. Yeah. So I think that'll help as well so I don't have to feel like pressured for so long. Mm -hmm. But I'm just excited. I just I really do like project panning. Um, if we did mention this um, already, but I don't know if we mentioned this video. We do have a uh, project pan page now for ourselves because it seemed like on our tutorials Instagram, um, people weren't always vibing with the project pan posts. Sometimes we'd get really great engagement on them and then others not so much. So it really, really just depends. Normally, like if we post like a Natasha Denona pan, people are really into that. But like outside of that, there's not a ton, a ton that people enjoy. So we decided to create our own panning account. Um, which is twin pans. So I'll link that. We'll put that in our put social that. media links. Yeah. yeah, so you guys can see it. But if you want to follow along with our project pan journey, we figured we could actually do multiple updates throughout that and then come and do the monthly updates uh, on YouTube. And I think that'll really help hold us accountable and make project panning fun. Mm -hmm. You know, like I just think it'll be good to have that only project pan community on that page. So um, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I hope you're excited. Thank you for watching. We, we appreciate it. As always, if you want to support us, support our channel, like and subscribe, please and thank you. Uh, comment whatever you want to comment and, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.